Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. What does it say? In the beginning, God created. And the idea of this creation is it's personal. It's not an impersonal. You've got the Spirit of God hovering over the deep. There's this personal involvement. It means that, that when the world was created, it wasn't the result of chance. It wasn't the result of a collocation of atoms where it, wasn't, uh, it was just a, a, a craps game at the casino. No, no, no. God was personally involved in it. And by the way, if you want an even deeper understanding of what happened in the beginning, look at the verses we just read in John chapter 1, verses 1 through 4. Look at it. He says, in the beginning was the word. That word was implies already. In other words, when Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 happened in the beginning, there was something before in the beginning in the sense of eternity. In the beginning was, it already existed. And what was it that already existed? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. And this Word that we're talking about later on in John, later on in the same chapter, it says that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And what, what John is telling us about is Jesus and he says, before the foundations of the world, before time even began, before creation existed, before anything created was created, Jesus already was, but understand Jesus was with God, and he was God, and here's what it's telling us. It's telling us this amazing truth that is beyond our comprehension, like the universe, the size of it, that God exists not alone. Yes, he exists by himself, but he exists by himself in community. As Father, as Son, and Holy Spirit.